Billy Batson, say my name so that my powers may flow through you. I don't know your name, sir. Shazam. <laughs> say it! Teenager Billy Batson is transported to a wizard's secret lair where he is given powers. And all he has to do is say Shazam, and then he changes into his super alter ego. There is so much to love in this new film from DC. I mean, first off, the characters, they are so rich and they are so great to watch. I mean, I just, I connected with so many of them on a bunch of different levels. The humor is on point and hilarious, and we've got ourselves a really good villain. I guess bad villain. And we know his motivations. The supporting cast is spectacular and relatable. And then Zachary Levi. I mean, come on. What a perfect casting choice for this. I mean, he is goofy and funny and heartfelt and who doesn't like Zachary Levi? In Shazam, the action and the drama are equally engaging. And there was a point where I thought there was going to be this plot hole. Like I thought, oh, well, maybe they're just not going to answer it. And sure enough, they did. And in a natural way, not like, oh, hey, we forgot. So we're going to kind of, you know, answer this. No, it fit perfectly into the story arc. The chemistry between Zachary Levi and Jack Dylan Frazier is awesome too. I mean, it's super believable and they just really click. I mean, you have... Zachary playing a teenage boy in an adult's body and then Jack playing just well a teenage boy and so them together their their banter back and forth just really works and if you think about it too from Zachary's point of that he is this teenager who is now in an adult's body who just discovered he has all kinds of superpowers but he doesn't know what they are so what are they going to do of course they're going to try and figure them out and they're going to get excited by each one that they find and if you're Jack, you're going to be like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, well, I'm going to see if I can just mess with my friend here and see if he has any extra superpowers, maybe ones that we're not thinking of. I really like that there's hubris in this, but then there's also humility. We get growth and we get acceptance and we get love. And one of the things that I absolutely just adored about the story is the foster family and the foster parents. I mean, they just... What a great example. And it was awesome to watch them and to hear their story. And while not going super deep into it, the storytellers really give us a good glimpse of who they are and why the parents act like they do and why they've chosen to take all of these foster kids in. Mark Strong is a great villain in my opinion. I mean, he just has this menacing look about him. And then you combine that with that gravelly British voice, it makes him all the more fearsome. I really tried to find something that I had an issue with or that I didn't like in this movie, but honestly, I can't. I loved Shazam. I really hope this is the direction that DC movies are going to be taking because the tone of this was amazing. I mean, you know, coming off, especially coming off of Aquaman 2, where it had lighthearted humor, but some good action, and it was really trying to develop the story. And now we have Shazam also, who, this is an origin story for anybody that doesn't read the comics like me. I mean, I'm just, I'm a movie goer, and that's what I want to see. So whether or not it sticks to the comic books, I'm okay with that but I want to be entertained when I sit down in the theater. And I totally was for Shazam. One of my favorite scenes from the film is also shown in the trailer. And it's when Billy is running in on a top of a building and he jumps off and he goes, Shazam! And the lightning bolt hits him and then he just flies off. I mean, it was so awesome to see. And it's like super dramatic, but not overly dramatic or melodramatic. I mean, you just, it was at the right moment and the whole motivation for him doing that. I mean, it was spectacular and it fit and it just was visually awesome too. I can't wait to see more of Shazam and more of Zachary Levi in this. And then also just more of the story that they began to tell here. I'm very curious at how it's going to fit into the whole DC universe and what they're going to do with that remains to be seen. But as long as they keep this tenor and this whole tone that they have that they've started with Shazam and even with Aquaman, I think we've got some good hits and a good run of films on our hands. There is a mid credit scene and a post credit scene, and both are really good, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you stick through the credits all the way to the very end so that you don't miss them. There's no sex or nudity, there is some profanity, and of course some superhero violence, but there's no blood and gut, so it makes it really accessible for even small ages. I give Shazam five out of five couches. Well, who is your favorite DC character? I'd love to know in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.